What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with me, your boy Iggy. Today, we pick up where we left off in the last episode, and that was moving all of our uh, other enclosures from that side to that side from back here because they were uh, not really ideal for... Actually, let me turn off this light level overlay. But it wasn't really ideal for viewing to have to like walk around the back and have them back to back. Whereas this way, we'll have a path down the middle and then you can look into either side. I also went ahead and relocated spawn over just a few blocks so that it would be out of the um, out of the way of, uh, you know, because it was literally like right here. So we just moved it to right here which i figure is perfectly okay but now basically the plan is to go ahead and get a bunch of redstone make a bunch of redstone torches and then we are just going to go ahead and power every single one of these blocks here and the reason for doing that is it prevents iron golems from spawning i have not decided if um, I plan to put villagers in this section yet or not, but the last thing we need is iron golems showing up and just wrecking our mobs that we worked hard to get. And apparently, um, iron golems will not spawn on powered blocks. So we've got a witch farm, we've got a raid farm, both of which provide um, plenty of redstone. Hopefully these aren't like super laggy. Like, uh, well, either way. So yeah, we're basically just going to go ahead and uh, power all of these, and then we'll put a nice floor over the top of it. So I'm going to go ahead, get the rest of these torches put in. We'll just grab some more redstone, make some more redstone torches. Looks like we're probably going to have to make another uh, run back to the storage room to get some more redstone but i think we might have enough and either way it is no big deal to like i said afk at the witch farm for a little bit and get some more redstone so i'm gonna go ahead get this all taken care of get the floor put in and then we will start worrying about what mobs are going into what cages so we've got our snow fox and our ocelots over there so i'm thinking snow fox and then we'll do ocelots because it's across from the panda. So we got like the jungle jungle action. For this one, I was thinking maybe we would do regular foxes. So it's like kind of like a taiga in there. And then probably bees in this one. So we've got fox, ocelot, fox, bees. And then I'm not really sure what to put in this last one. But we'll figure something out. You know, whether it just be... You know, the classic cow, chicken, pig, sheep, livestock. Um, at least then we've got something in there. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and uh, get this knocked out. And then once I'm all finished, I'll be back up and we'll get started on the uh, project. So we'll see you in just a moment. All righty. So decided to go a slightly different route for the floor here i figure since spawns right here and you enter into the world and eventually there'll be a structure around all of this here i would have a nice fancy entryway and we basically did the um smooth basalt and calcite which looking at them now you can see they're basically like the same texture just different colors kind of interesting and then I did white uh, stained glass over the, um, the calcite and then black stained glass over the uh, smooth basalt to kind of give it that almost reflective look. So it looks like it's like a shiny floor kind of. I don't know. Turns out that apparently uh, just glass is enough these days to uh, block iron golems from spawning, I guess. Back in the day, one of the more effective ways was uh, powered blocks, but I don't think uh, they can spawn on glass unless there's water above it. So, yeah, that's what we've got. So now that we've got all of that in, we can start working on some of our uh, our animal pens here. 
And I figured we might as well start with the snow foxes and just have them right across from the uh, the polar bears here. And then across from, you know, the pandas, we'll do another jungle mob, which is ocelots. And then across from uh, these dudes. Hmm. I guess we could do regular foxes and just do kind of like a taiga biome. And then probably bees so we can get like some flowers and azalea trees and moss and all that fun stuff. And then maybe do like a cool uh, back wall that's like a mixture of the um, gold ore blocks and the honeycomb blocks. Maybe some actual honey. We'll have to uh, have to see about that. Not really sure. I'm going to have to do some thinking about the um, the bee area. But for the last one. So let's see. We've got Snow Fox. Ocelot. Regular Fox. Bees. And then this one. I don't know. I was thinking... You know, maybe we could do like cows and pigs and stuff and just do kind of like a regular, uh, you know, regular mobs. I mean, we could do llamas. That could be a thing. And have some of like the trader llamas in there. I don't know. We'll have to think about what we're going to put in the last one. I mean, we could even do parrots or something. Or maybe this could be our giant um, tropical fish tank. And then we just won't have the uh, axolotls in this one. And it'll just be like maybe tropical fish. And uh, maybe we can put like the squids and the uh, glow squids in this one with the tropical fish. Because I don't think they should uh, affect each other. As long as we don't put any puffer fish in there. And then I figure, you know, if we do like a second story up here or something above this. And we could have like a small tank for the puffer fish and then like another small tank for uh axolotl stuff like that so i guess i am going to go ahead and start prepping the materials that we will need for the um snow fox enclosure so we're gonna have to go ahead and uh dig out the grass you know too deep so we can get the uh you know bricks down there so we don't accidentally dig into it from below as we did with all of the other all the other ones have bricks you know underneath this top layer here just to make sure that you know if we're putzing around down here underground which as you can see i've done an amazing job lighting up i totally missed over there but yeah things are uh, very well lit and actually way over there is uh, where we've got our drown farm. But yeah, if we upgrade this world to uh, 1.18 when it comes, this is going to get even deeper. So that should be kind of interesting. And I'm a little curious what that is right there. What is that? Is this just like a hole? I guess that's just a hole. Interesting. All right. But yep, out of free cam. And uh, actually that, if you're wondering how I do that, it is a fabric mod called Tweakaroo. Super, bleh, super helpful stuff, you know, just for free cam alone. It's really nice to be able to, um, you know, back up and take a look at your builds and, uh, you know, see if there's caves and, and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, get the stuff ready. We're going to have to sleep here because it's getting to be nighttime and I don't want the mobs to come and get me. So we're just going to have a little nap and then I'm going to go get some things and then we're going to get cracking. So I will be right back with you. All righty. So about nighttime, but we're going to sleep here and then we are going to get cracking on the uh, Arctic Fox enclosure. As you can see, I've already got a nice smooth quartz backdrop there that will uh kind of represent snow without actually putting snow blocks back there since we're going to have uh, a lot of snow in this area but that being said enjoy the time lapse so we'll see you soon
Alrighty, so hopefully you enjoyed that time lapse. Now it is time to go and gather our Arctic foxes. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they are jumpers. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is move a block here at the top. And that way we will be able to fly out. So let's just go over here and round up these two. Perfect, you first. Oh, and I did not even think about that. I thought that I had put these dumb path blocks in. And boats and path blocks don't mix so well. But let's see, here we go. Let's get the first one in. We can kind of wiggle it. There we go, out of the way. We get the other one. Polar bears. Looking like they're doing just fine. It's good to see. Grab you. I like how you still have the lead in your mouth from when we uh, caught you. You know, they really should introduce like a net or like some sort of... I mean, I'm sure there's a mod that has one, but that lets you uh, capture the critters a little bit easier. That would be kind of a nice feature, but... All right, we got them both in. So let's go ahead and get this closed off. All righty, then we'll just go ahead and back our way up here. Perfect. And then let's see, F3 and B get the hitboxes out so we don't accidentally uh, hurt our critters. So we'll just... All right, there's one down. Perfect, all righty. And now they're just gonna be doing their thing going ballistic. So um, I believe they should both be named. Yeah, it might be easier to check that with a uh, free cam. Yep, you're named and you're named, perfect. Okay, so now all we gotta do is go and figure out, I need to look up what we need to breed them. And then we can uh, get ourselves a little forever baby. So I will be right back with you. All right, so this is a tricky part is actually catching the foxes so we can breed them. So let's see. Oh yeah, let's get them cornered, that works. You and you. I'm gonna back up, and you two need to pathfind to each other and do your thing. 
perfect. And now we got the little one. Let's see if we can get close enough to, uh, tag the baby, not the adult. There we go. Got him. All right. <laughs> and he picked up the name tag. Funny. All right. Now I guess, um, probably here once the, uh, adults cool down a little bit, we'll go ahead and breed them again and try to get some, um, a couple more that we can let grow up that won't be like frantically just running around like this all the time. So I'm going to go ahead, wait a little bit and, uh, yeah, that way we'll have some that actually like trust us and don't run away as soon as we go to get near them. So I'm going to wait for the cooldown. I think it's like five minutes or something like that. And then uh, we'll go ahead and breed these two up again. So we'll see you shortly. All righty. Let's see if we can breed these two again. It's annoying because they're running around constantly. Oh, no, I don't want to plant those. All right. Well, it looks like we have to go grab some more uh, sweet berries real quick. Brief trip over here. To our sweet berry bush collection. And I always screw up the flight out of here, so I'm not even going to try it. That's one thing, next world, definitely got to make sure I make it easier to uh, fly in and out of the storage building, because that can be kind of tricksy, and then we'll need to light that, but we can do that later. Let's go ahead and see if we can't breed these foxes real quick. Alright, so... You and you, perfect. Okay, we got them. Let's see our new little baby. Perfect, awesome. So, yeah, that one when it grows up should trust us. That one is never going to grow up. And then let's see here in like five minutes or so if we can get a, another one. So, actually, what we'll do in the meantime is we'll fly out of this and then we will have a gander at the enclosure with our shaders on. So let's get the shaders and see how that looks. Always fun to see things in there. See things at their best, I should say. Oh yeah, that looks nice. It's very uh very wintry. It reminds me of where I uh brought them from, which was the goal. So I wish there was like a snowy leaf variant. I think that would be super neat if there was like, you know, if you went to certain biomes and harvested the leaves, you would get like a variant like specific to that biome. So if you like went somewhere snowy and like silk touch some silk touch or sheared some uh, leaves there with the snow, you would get the snowy leaves kind of like I think Bedrock has like the fancy like different looking leaves. And then I know if you use, uh, like, Germsy Boy's Better Leaves Texture Pack, it makes the birch leaves yellow. I think that'd be kind of cool if there was, like, a autumn forest that you could go to, to, uh, get, like, you know, orange, red, yellow leaves, things like that. Or even if they had, like, you know, the cherry blossom leaves, I think that's something that we've all been wanting for who knows how long, but it'd be super cool if they had, you know, like, a cherry blossom forest meadow it could be like a rare thing like the uh flower forest but yeah if there was just like a cherry tree orchards that'd be that'd be something i'd add to minecraft but i'm gonna go ahead and uh give these guys a few more minutes here and then we will go and attempt to breed them up again i've got hopefully enough berries here that if i make any mistakes we can uh still manage to breed too so I will be right back with you once they're uh, once I think they're ready. So give me just just a minute. Alrighty, so let's see if we can breed these two again. It's been long enough. I feel like it's been about five minutes. So go ahead and pop on in. 
And of course, they're just going to go running all over the place. So if I can get this one first. Where are you? Build Pixie. Okay, you're not ready to breed yet. That's fine. I can wait a few more minutes. So we'll just kind of hang out here and... Uh, Wait for these two to be ready to go again. I mean, it's got to be close. No? Oh, and I had him in the perfect position, too. All right, well, I guess give me just a moment, and uh, we'll try this again. But it is fun watching the little tiny ones run around. Like I said, got to give the prop to Jer or not Jeremy, but to uh, 8-Bit Monkey for his uh, Forever Babies data pack. It's probably one of the... Most fun, kind of neat data packs if you like doing, you know, stuff with the uh, the Minecraft animals and whatnot. But let's give this one more try, and if it doesn't work, then we'll cut and we'll come back and give it another shot. So can I? Yep, okay, we got the one. Now you. Perfect, okay. And now they'll go do their thing. Look at that. Yep. Oh, and we got a third baby. So now we'll have one forever baby, and then we've got two uh two adults. And actually, do one of you guys want to like give me back my my thing? Of course, you're gonna pick it up. Uh, what about what about you? Anybody want to take that instead? All right. Well, I got a dirt block bat. See if we can't uh, get that name tag. Okay, which one has the... Name tag or the lead would be nice. Yep, come on. <sighs> Alright, well. Either way. We got the uh, enclosure all done. We got some, some babies that will soon becoming adults that actually will let us approach and we got some actually i need to close that hole up on the top but yeah we got our uh fox habitat done we got our foxes in it we got our little baby foxes running around and we got nice little places for them to uh to sleep and the cool thing is since you know they're on the other side of the glass you can actually come up and look at them without them you know running off but yes hello there you so yeah, with any luck, you know, they'll come close and I'll actually be able to get a thumbnail of them. But, you know, for the meantime, that's where we're going to have to call the episode for today. Thanks for watching. As always, you're the, made it to the end of the video, so you're the real MVP. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button if you like the video. Uh, smash the dislike button if you want to do something that doesn't do anything. Uh, don't forget to get subscribed. Hit that bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out. And check me out on Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon, all of which are at Iggy Haxler or down in the description below, as well as my uh, Discord server. So we'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.